But I think so, we I think we should make fun of these budget holes. I think we should definitely make fun of them. Because <laughs> this article about Silicon Valley, it's time to disrupt the status quo. It's like she was using all these tech buzzwords like disrupt. Yep. We need disruptive technologies to, you know, change the game, to gamify and to you know, yeah. to, to, to try what works. I mean, I mean it, it's just sort of funny to me. You know, you know another one of the developments, and, and, and but you brought it back to the seriousness, Cole, and I want to bring it back to that, which is that... <laughs> right, we, which is we'll that, that we, too. Even though the ideology has been discredited, this these cuts are still going through, and of course the sequester has taken effect that's cut tremendous amounts for low-income right. programs. Now, the Center for American Progress, in their article, their paper, arguing that we don't need a grand bargain to replace all of the sequester, they were basically saying that the White House should now try to replace the sequester by uh, offsetting it elsewhere or canceling it for the, at least the coming three years. And, and that that's what we need, that the economy is still sluggish. We're still looking at above 7% unemployment and, and much greater long-term unemployment, underemployment, and, and, and that these cutbacks have essentially been damaging. The, and yet, and yet, the sequester's in place, so that's very grave, and we do need to take that seriously. And we're also looking at another debt ceiling showdown in, it's believed, the early fall. And that was also interesting this week because the president, once again, is trying to stave that off. And we could be looking still at a grand bargain because they're so desperate to have another, to avoid another situation of brinksmanship over the full faith and credit of the United States government, the United States government's ability to honor all of its obligations to its creditors. And that's why we saw this week the president meeting with Senate Republicans. But one of the things that he met with the Senate Republicans about, um, they were also moaning and crying. And Ron Johnson, the, the Republican senator from Wisconsin, led the charge in calling for a 30-year budget window. That we should look, that instead of having a budget that plans to, for funding or, or looking at the effects of spending and taxes in the next 10 years, Every single budget should look at the deficit in the context of every 30 years. Now, I should make clear that the CBO, we always have access to that information, but very rarely do you look at the effects of one particular policy on, on the budget beyond the first 10 years. I mean, there's, there's so many different factors that, that can't be looked at there. Um, it, it just, to me, it reinforces once again that, that these people cannot be spoken to like rational human beings. No, I, 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 I don't think that either. Um, you know, I, you, you're talking about Maya McGinnis's comment. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how long this charade, uh, how long this this game of, of trying to to pretend like this is this 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 big national crisis that needs to be resolved immediately. How long it's going to continue? I was thinking back to, I mean, I, I just graduated from school from Georgetown, uh, and I remember we had actually it was the Pete Peterson crowd coming down. They had a tour of college campuses and actually to try to promote the idea that this was a you know it's a young person's problem, it's a moral question, and you know they had all kinds of contests for like I think they had actually had a contest to write poems about uh, how bad the debt was. I'm not making this up. Um, so they're go they're, they went on a, a, a tour across college campuses, you know, trying to promote this. And, you know, as, as a young person, I wonder how much people buy into it. I don't think anyone really buys it. But it's kind of, it'll be intriguing to see how long, you know, this is giving, given mainstream play um, and how long this, this kind of goes on for.